Yo no vatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video of Infamous coming at you from the West Coast, California. That's right, the Golden State. Uh, go ahead and just smash that like button for me. It'll be much appreciated. Uh, let's just go ahead and get in. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's <laughs> let's go ahead and get on with the topic of today's ride. My SNS Stealth Air Stinger uh, Air Breather. Uh, this is my first impressions, I guess. Uh, I've had it for about a hundred miles now and just kind of wanted to I always do a first impressions and then I, I do a review and and then I do like a long-term review on the product so uh, first impressions off the bat just by having it on the bike uh, I do notice some ground some, some ground some leg clearance uh, yes some leg clearance uh, the uh, the uh, the air filter does sit a little bit closer to the to the uh, to the engine compared to my Trask air filter. If you guys know, I own the Trask air filter. Had it for about 5,000 miles. I still have that air filter, but uh, it's time for for a minor update for for a little bit of a change. So, uh, based off of your your guys' response on on my IGs, uh, some of you guys, most of you guys, the majority of you guys do like the Trask air filter over the uh, over the Stinger, but they're both great air filters. I love them both. Uh, they both look amazing and they both perform as good. Uh, they are leaps and bounds beyond Screaming Eagles uh, ventilator air filter. That's Harley's high flow. Technically, it's a high flow air filter, but it just doesn't not. It does not compete against the uh, Trask or the SNS. I mean, these, both of these air filters, they perform a whole lot better than the Screaming Eagle, hands down. I mean, there's just no comparison. Even without fine tuning, dyno tuning, the uh, the, uh, the the V twin for the air filter. Uh, I still have the the, the uh, street tuner from Screaming Eagle. I have the street tuner Screaming Eagle, which is by no means uh, a high performance tuner. It's it's basically your warranty tuner if you want to keep your warranty, and it's it is a mild performance gain. So I, I could only imagine how much more uh, airflow you would get out of a aftermarket tuner. But you know what? That's not the topic. I digress getting back on topic uh, and I honestly my own opinion this is just going to depend on on the writer on the person I believe these air filters look a lot better than the uh, than what's than what uh, Screaming Eagle has to offer I mean they do have some good looking air filters but I mean this is just my opinion I mean this is just my my style my taste I do prefer these aftermarket uh, air filters and I mean there's a lot of good looking ones but uh, and just my style wise what I prefer what I like is Trask and what I have here and a lot of the mini teardrop what SNS has to offer those look good too uh, They also have the stealth option that kind of has that look of a uh, Vance and Hines But you know what I'm rambling getting back on topic again uh, Yes, the, the the leg clearance is, is a big plus I saw it in the Facebook group where somebody that's shorter than I was uh, they were having some uh, some some problem some problem reaching the um, the uh, brake pedal. So with the Trask air filter, they were just saying, I, I you know what I, I don't remember if it was forward controls, maybe that's what it was, but it was something about them having a difficult time reaching around the air filter with the uh, Trask. So just something for you guys to kind of keep in mind. If you guys are probably shorter than me, I'm five seven then you probably want to go with something that's a little bit more more uh, uh, leg clearance friendly I guess <laughs> uh, yes you probably want to look at something that uh, it's not going to hit your your shin or the inside of your leg or it's not going to prevent you from reaching the brake pedal which is which is very dangerous it is it is a hazard so uh, the SNS I believe it has that over the Trask that being said let's discuss the price the price is a huge factor for a lot of us 330 bucks or 360 dollars for this one uh, compared to the uh, to potentially the 600 dollar one with Trask uh, yes this one is a lot cheaper you're, you're looking at a difference of about 200 bucks 
and uh, two hundred dollars is a lot of money two hundred bucks that could potentially be more mods maybe that could be your your uh, your money towards a tuner or maybe slip-ons whatever you're you're thinking about making out of your build so I mean yes you know what this this isn't a versus a Trask and a versus uh, all the other filters uh, you know what the air filter is great I love it I love the design it looks amazing uh, I'm a huge fan of it and I you know from what I've had it and some of my friends and family have seen it and they're just kind of like hey that's that's a good looking air filter it looks nice uh, it's got that uh, that modern look that modern take of, of performance and it just you know but it also has that classic look uh, I've been saying it in my IG I've been talking to, to some of you guys and you know what it's a good looking air filter I really like it and uh, one of the other benefits not only uh, leg clearance you also have potentially you don't have to buy more more components to kind of get an, an external air breather so if you guys see my video I was able to utilize my stock breather bolts and my mod of the external air breather and use that for for this air cleaner and there's no drilling required there's no uh, uh, reaching out to the manufacturer and requesting a new backing plate kind of what you have to do with the Trask air filter you, you wouldn't have to uh, to uh, order and they have that part the external air breather they do have that on on request or call call to order so you don't have to do that you don't have to wait uh, there's also a shortage of goods with the uh, off topic um, yes yeah, so I mean there are some benefits here I mean there's it's cheaper you're not uh, breaking the bank and if you're into having an external air breather you could do that with this with this air cleaner and not and not have to uh, drill anything and if you're a shorter rider and you're having some concerns about reaching your brake pedal depending on what you got uh, you don't have to worry about that with this air cleaner so just a few things just uh, some stuff that kind of picked up on from having it for a few uh, days I'm not even sure uh, you know what I'll believe it in the in the video you guys just stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read life's a risk <laughs> get out there and ride later